Hello folks and welcome back to Numa Sand and here we are in the depths of the night almost into May and what we're going to do is go and get some of this stuff so also set the worker to go to there okay target's unreachable apparently perhaps it's because of this here blocking it but so yeah got 5,000 litres of flowers and mushrooms 24,000 litres of flour, 4,000 litres of sugar, and a pallet of clothes. So, okay, well, that's been difficult. You're going over to the TMR factory. You, on your friends, can go to the farm shop. So you go to there, hopefully that worker goes. Yep, worker's on its way. So yeah, I'm gonna make a bit of a quick buck out of this. Not the biggest of those stuff, so, well, it is actually quite a big load, but in terms of pure volumage, not the biggest, but we do need money because I really don't get that clothing factory in. Because if when's the best time to sell clothes? May was it? May June? Have a little look. May into June, so overall, yeah. So we'll start doing that in the morning. Get a clean factory in, and if we can earn enough money, perhaps another production chain I want to add. First of all, we need to see the money situation, first of all. Oh, maybe just close. That is £69,000. Nice. Plus twelve hundred, or so. 70300 in... 89 quid. I will get a couple of grand from Surrey, I'm sure. Worker to okay, there's a worker. Twenty thousand years of sorry. There is still another ten thousand years left, but that unfortunately I have to leave for now because the amount of sorry we're producing we need a bigger tanker, so we'll have a look at a few options that we have open to us, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's two grand for that, so not too bad. A bit of extra income on site. But I think let's skip to the morning and get cracking along with the main task for this episode. And there we go, it is seven o'clock in the morning. And we're just doing our morning rounds of clearing everything up. Ooh, look at that. We got our first pile of cakes. I oh, thought these were a thousand years, but now they're 400 years. How much does 400 years of cake get us? Because you know, you measure cake not, not by grams and that, no. You measure by volume. So currently it's 5,500 per thousand years. It peaks around 6,400 and at the moment we are in May and it's at rock bottom almost so not too bad but still we'll grab you, put you in storage. Maple syrup we're going to keep that for now because at some point we may go on to do pancakes by use and fast case M. I want some pancakes with maple syrup, so I'm just going to leave these in storage for now. And if we don't get the pancake production, at least then. That's looking nice. How full is that? Say about 80 or so pallets. No, 62. But yeah, that'll fill up very quickly. So, the plan for new production chains. I'm going to park this over here. Ooh. 
Our windrow is back in cell, 40% off. Tempted, but... So yeah, obviously we want the clothing factory. That's on the production, factories. And it's at the end of the planet DLC. So we want this one. But that is a big boy, that is. So really, we need to clear pretty much all these trees here on the left. So all these, they gotta go. Also, another one was Linlock Farm Dairy. Clothing and the carpentry, wasn't it? Yeah. But how much is this one? So that takes planks and even timber itself. And what's the size of that? Okay, that's a yay big. But even then, I think realistically, yeah, we need. Because remember, these pads spawn out here, so we need to leave some space for us. So again, to about yay there. That's 60 grand, so that's 150 grand in total. And realistically, all these trees here, they've got to go, so. Ooh, that's going to be. Wait a minute. Oh, did we miss a patch of grass? How? I thought we did this bit here. Roll there, I thought we seeded it. <laughs> Apart from that, any other patches? I do tend to leave some patches here and there. But nope, actually this time, around the edges I'm not too worried about, I could be with the worker and that on the down land boundaries. Besides from that, looking well. And how much milk we've got? 4,000, 6,000, 8,000 litres, sorry. About another 20,000, so another 20 grand's worth there. Food, they're doing okay at the moment. Chicken's okay with food. Sheep, still got plenty of food, so we're going to leave food for the time being. But we're going to need this. Yeah, that convert back into a logging trailer. And then, yeah, we need to chop down a lot of trees, I think. There we go. Go to our toolbox and we want those. Actually, what's the liquid tank on this one? 84,000 litres at 15 grand. Actually, that's better than what I was looking at, so. But, anyways, we need to put these log forks back on. I'm not too worried about the size of the logs, I think. What we do is we can do two 8 meter logs, like sections of 8 meter logs, so one there and then one at the back. So we need to move this out of the way. And that I'll leave there for now, so yep, it's literally all these trees here need to be removed. And we'll fill them into the sawmill, however, if we do fill it up to the top. Now, if we do fit at the top and there's trees left over, we can just sell the rest of them, but... There we go, get rid of the fennel of this. Grab you. And I'm just going to put that over there. Big ones we'll use a harvester for. And these ones will go on, on the end as well, at the end, so... Don't need to worry about putting these on the trailer now. They should go out of the way. They're not fully desirable. You get us some literage, but honestly, not a lot. A couple of hundred if we're lucky. But a hundred litres is the difference between it being full and not being full, so this is why we're still processing these. So, yeah, I think the best way to get this all done very quickly is in a little time lapse, I think. Grab you. Yeah, but 
redo off tree or sin. Good way to make money, but yeah, just get into it, especially with the harvesters and that can be expensive, but so yeah, we'll continue on with this and I'll see you folks when we're done. It's a full trader loot. And if we go up here, there is literally nothing left. We got rid of all the sumps, so there should be new sumps left to interfere with us when we flatten this out. And actually, just looking at it like this, it does elevate into the field, so we may have to sacrifice some grass, but we'll try to smooth out if we can because we need let's look at the production again so the clothing factory that's the biggest one in terms of like space and that so about halfway back we need to flatten out so this just, yeah let's just have a little start like that so landscaping level Flatten all this out. And then, whatever we have about left over, we will just smooth it out like the edges. So we get this nice and perfect. Well, we're on here, so we can't flan it here. So let's just move ourselves. And yeah, it's costing a bit of a pretty penny. This is. <laughs> oh, look at that money going down. Okay. Oof. Okay. Need to. So you just out. Do something like that. 
doing up there. So I'll try to think. Oh, I need to go back a bit more. So let's try that. Ouch, that money's going down really low. Yeah. Okay, so now let's try just soften everything. Keep an eye on the money. Just soften these edges. There we go, just give it a big old smooth. Alright, there we go, that looks a lot better, so... Let's grab that production, so... The clothing factory. Wait, not enough money? Why? How? Oh, you know what, let's deal with the timber first of all, so... But yeah, this... A lot of this is going to go into the sawmill. And then the leftovers will be sold, so... Over here we go. Ouch. That's all of it. Oh, boy. That ain't, that ain't good news, so... How many big trees we've got over here? Yeah, you know what? I think I do like to look at the trees over here. Like the forest here. It's actually quite nice. Perhaps get rid of this small tree. Actually, no, that looks... Nah. Nah, we're going to keep that. Because actually I do like to look at that. So I'm just trying to think if we get rid of the trees, plan all out. Let's just go open this up a huge bit so I don't have to reposition stuff. And I, how this looks is like a little tucked in around the corner. Oh, I do like to look at that. Yeah, some tweaks we need to do over here, but apart from that, oof. I think we got some problems here. What about these trees over here? Oh, there was a bunch here, but a lot of it is on the other part of the land. So we're going to need to cut some of these trees down. And I did not want to do that, so... Well, you just see me cut some trees down, so... I'm going to grab some more. Maybe another four trailers worth from over here. And then we'll just sell them. But yeah, ouch. I did not expect that to cost that amount of money. Oof. Nose looking good. 99%. So you guys park over here, get the tree harvester over, get these cut down, load up, and then I'll see you probably around dinner time, I think. So here's the first sack of logs. Let's get these lowered, move those. 50 grand plus another 2500, that's 52,600. And we do have some more logs chopped down already, so let's go and grab those and put them on here and see what the final total is. And there we go with the second load, and this is a bigger load. Logs are heavier, so ooh, a bit weavy they are. Actually, if I can try to do... There we go, just lower them down a bit. <laughs> so the center of gravity too high, but yeah, these are the more chunkier logs. On that, we had to cut them manually ourselves. Couldn't do it the harvester, it wasn't big enough. So yeah, hopefully we can get about at least 60 grand. Got 50k from the last load. And there's a fair, fair few trees still left over there, so... 
I'm just taking a super steady. Because I do think that's sort of traitor at pivots. I think it's more the fifth wheel on the actual Phoenix. So I think the best we can do is sell it at the sell everything container. So scoot on around. And this will leave us with money and change for what we need to do to get the carpentry and the clothing factory in. So there we go. Let's back it up. And see how much money we can make. So I guess about 60 grand. Gotta move the trailer a bit. There we go. Squeeze it now. Bang on 60 grand and a bit of change. Sixty seven grand. That is what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's enough for everything and still leaves us enough money saved up after we spend on these production chains. Because obviously we still need to save for the cotton harvester and that and the beet harvester which is half a million, so we may have to do another load of trees, but overall I think it's gonna be worth it. We go over the jump, flight truck. Smashing the axles on the floor. So yeah, let's see what dent we've made in this. So yeah, literally all the trees we've got left is those. I think those could go into the sawmill when it needed, when it's needed, so now let's get these bad boys in. Get my orientation in. There we go, over here somewhere. So, yeah, I'm thinking first of all, landscape and painting. And I should just paint all of this in. We'll do go into the fields. Like it's quite bumpy there, so let's see if we can do anything about that. I just want to try to soften as much as we can out. Just make our life so much easier. How's that look? Actually, a lot better actually. And I think go back onto asphalt. And we just paint a load in here. There we go. So now, let's have a look. So, first of all, productions. Cloven factory in, so gotta turn on interactive zone markers. So let's go and grab you again. So why did it say that's why we didn't have enough money? But we did. Well you know what I don't know. There we go, that's in. And now we need the carpentry. So we'll go with this one. It's cheaper at 60 grand, so. Okay, that's the back of it there. Everything goes in the front, it comes out on the side. Not sure, really, if we can do that. Look at that. Let's go and grab a tractor and head on over. I 
and see how these look properly in person. It turns up a little bit back at the terms free. Because we need to get some wool over to the clothing factory. Actually, that is looking good. Yeah, we'll try to blend it in at some point when we get some more money to blend the land in. So here at the carpentry, obviously we can get furniture from wood or planks. And that produces at a quite a rate. And we can get some pellets, so wood chips into pellets. Actually we're going to need to John Deere, where are you tall? There's Johnny Boy. So I'm thinking that's a very quick production, so in theory it will convert all of those planks into Yeah, all those planks into furniture. There's a five to seven. So that is what a 20, 22% increase and what's the price difference between planks and furniture go down here that's a 60% increase so yeah that's definitely worth it so 20% more planks is going in, but in terms of profit, we're getting 60% back out of it, if my math is correct. 55-60%, so... That is actually looking good, so... Well, first of all, how many planks have we got in the first place? 46, so... That is not going to be an issue. Let's get all that spawned up. So that is not going over there, so literally hop, skip in the beat. And the best way to get it done is in a little time lapse, so... Okay, it popped in the used market, or it going, but not in the interest to us, so yeah. We'll crack on, get all this done, shouldn't take too long. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
Right, so here we are at nightfall. Axe skipped the time a bit too much. But boy, this carpentry was worth it. Still got more paths coming out. Christ. <laughs> but yeah, if you have a look in there, there is 19 paths of furniture already in there, so. I was hoping to get some clothes, but we didn't actually get it in until about 4 or 5 o'clock, so. We ain't gonna get any clues from the news clothing factory, but it is a better production, so overall I am not complaining. Okay, do want to get rid of it. Do want to drop the pellets there, but oh well. Put those wood chips back in. So we get some pellets, because those pellets are worth at the moment they're going for one grand. 1100, but in the winter they go for 3,000 pounds per 1,000 litres. So, you know what? I am not complaining on that. And compared to like, wood chips, normally would be about a couple of quid per 1,000 litres. About 8 quid, 100 quid. Actually, I'm not sure how much do they go for. The wood chips. I know it wasn't much. Yeah, at most 250 will hit. So if we can make wood chips, we can get 10 times our money out of it. Literally. So, actually, hmm, I've got an idea. Get a bunch of wood chips, convert it to pellets, because the wood, even at most, we'll get 1800 out of it. 1802 grand, maybe. But if we go all the way down here, pellets, one grand at the moment, but 3,400. That's almost double we'll get from wood normally, so get some pellets being produced. And next, this time next year, well, just a couple of months behind, like February, March, what's well, January, February, March, we can make a bank load of money on that. And that can be used to fund our next venture after we, well, hopefully hit our half a mil target for the calling and potato harvesters. But to do that, we need to sell stuff, so to close, that's a third of the way through. But. I did have a truckload of stuff, so we've got all sorts of goodies. We've got flowers, mushrooms, our cakes, our oils, sugar, bread, butter, cheese, and we do have one pad of clothes. As well as a little bit of flour, so all in all, this is going to help us out to get to our goal, especially the amount of money we've been spending lately, so. best thing for most of these is going to be the sell everything container and uh, it's either the flowers or the mushrooms that I can't sell there and that's fine and yeah didn't mean to skip here to the dark you can actually see not a lot but we can skip through some tonight quickly to end the episode here and have a proper look at the well our business so new production chain so I'm turn this around here okay it's on this trailer which is a bit of a faff just turn it around because it doesn't have to flip or hitch but let's see how much money we can make so Start everything in one go if I can help it. Seventy grand and plus all the rest, so oh dang, those we can't. And you've right away the mushrooms. That's another two G's. I 
guess it's the mushrooms we can't sell here, so... Yeah, it is. This is just a mushroom theft now, so... Get about another... Uh, 25 grand, I think it is. And the final sale price. Well, yeah, that's actually almost bang on 25 grand. And it's skipped till the next day. Nope, not that. But yeah, no, I'm not too worried about keeping an eye on the greenhouses. Yeah, they'll fill up overnight. But. I also want to see how our productions look, or show you folks how they look, so... Yeah, they're almost full and he's moving. Same though, so you do need water today. But boy, let's have a look, so... This looks really good. Yeah, I said before, tidy it up, but overall... I am absolutely happy, so... Okay, cows would need feed it in the next episode. We'll need to move the eggs. Christ, yep, they're producing a lot of eggs. And sheep's doing okay. So milk, we could sell some milk. Surrey so needs to think about moving and selling. And that, that's got oh, another 13 pallets left to be spawned in and silk being produced. And 17,000 litres of pellets. Man. <laughs> I'm excited by that. I am definitely excited. And how is our farm production doing? More oils. Got some. What's it? Some maple syrup. DC moving. But also these. So actually, how is the um, farm supply production working on the bakery stuff? Because if it doesn't need that many eggs, we can sell some eggs even. Okay, it needs some eggs, 2,000 litres left. So we can put one load in. And what are eggs going for at the moment? So I'm going to look at some other stuff for furniture. That is peaking. 3900 at the farm shop. So, yep. Looking forward to selling some of those. Clothes. Sort to go down, so we'll try to sell as much as we can. But with the clothes, we'll stop selling after June. We'll just store them and sell our next bunch in March, April, May next year. So, Just looking at some of these other stuff, the cakes. Flour. But the eggs, importantly, 2500 at the max price, 2250 at the moment. So, yeah, we can sell some eggs as well. Why not? Got potatoes in storage. And a bunch of barley for the chickens. So yep, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it today. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, so... Yeah, definitely going to need... Maybe actually may need another shed with all the amount of pellets we're producing. But, as always, hope you've gone to enjoy the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to come down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for whatever you do, Hope you're gonna stay, but for now, this is me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.